Hello, everyone. This is Al Fadi, and uh, we like to thank you again for joining us into uh, this series related to refuting the claim that the Quran has scientific miracles in it. We've been uh, dealing with a number of those claims, and with me here in studio is Dr. Jay Smith, who has been extremely helpful in terms of assessing, analyzing, and doing also the joint critique of these claims. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the topic of deep sea and waves. What is the story with that? Yeah, this is a good, uh, this is one that came up also in our debate with Nadir. And it's also in his video that he did way back in 2008. So it's been around for 11 years. Uh, and he mentioned very clearly uh, that in chapter 24, verse 40, uh, are two different claims, two different proofs, scientific proofs that could not have been known in the seventh century. He believed it coming from Muhammad. I don't believe Muhammad had anything to do with it, but if certainly seventh or eighth century uh, mm -hmm. would be when this, these verses were finally tabulated. Let me read the verse so we can see what the claims are. Right. Uh, this is what it says. Or is like the darkness in a vast deep sea overwhelmed with waves topped by waves topped by dark clouds, darkness upon darkness. If a man stretch out his hand, he can hardly see it. And he for whom Allah has not appointed light, for him there is no light. Now, what he claimed is two things. And Muslims will claim these two things. First, they're saying is, see, the, how could anybody have been to the bottom of the ocean, thousand meters deep, because there it's pitch black. You cannot even see your hand when you put it out in front of you, dark upon light, there is no light. We have only discovered that now with submarines. Submarines were only invented in the 17th century, but to go down that deep, that was only in the 20th century that we had submarines that could withstand the pressure that, uh, they, and be able to get down that deep to find out that there is no light at all at about a thousand feet. Nobody in the seventh or eighth century could have known that. The difficulty with that whole presumption, oh, that was the first claim. The second claim then is waves upon waves. We now know that there are waves deep down under the ocean that have now been discovered by the submarines. How could a man like Muhammad have known about these deep waves? Well, there are two Pro, uh, th uh, there are two difficulties with the claims there. Let me go to the first one. Let's read the sequence. Of, of this verse. So the sequence goes like this. Let's follow it. Or is like the darkness in a vast deep sea. Let's stop right there. Darkness in the vast deep sea. That's all it's saying is the sea is dark. Now, Alfadi, do you swim? I swim and I dive also. Okay, and you've dove, have you div dove, uh, have you dived or, uh, yeah, that's right, have you dived in the ocean? Yes. Have you snorkeled and gone deep? Uh, I've snorkeled and I uh, dove also deep, uh, like 160 feet, which I wasn't supposed to be that deep, but I did. Okay, and as you went yeah. down, did it get darker? There was still light. But did it get darker? That's all I'm asking. It was getting darker and darker. And what would your assumption be the further down you went? It will be darker. Exactly. That's just observation, correct? That's right. Just by diving, diving down where you could go without, without, uh, with, now you had tanks. But without tanks, I have been in the ocean many times. We would go to Goa. Our family would go to Goa in the winter. And we would go out with just, just go out and just try to d dive deep. And you couldn't go too very deep. You only have to go about 15, 20 feet. And you can see it's already getting dark. That's right. That's so right. how in the world can anybody assume that, that this is something that it's a miracle to know that it's d pitch black at the bottom? When you know within 15 feet it's getting darker. That's right. And you notice Again, that the colors, start, the colors start to dissipate. And the deeper you go, the less color there is. And also, I want to say this. You know, when you're not wearing the proper gear, indeed, you can even go probably five feet and stick your, uh, your hand and you may not see anything. With proper gear, you can keep on going and you can still see your hand. But yes, you can notice it's darker and darker and darker. It's well, observation. But that's not what the Quran is saying. Who cares about the hands? That has nothing yeah. to do with the waves. Because look at the sequence. They are now putting to the wrong sequence in the wrong uh, category with... <clears throat> The waves, let's go continue to read. Read it in sequence. Or is like the darkness in a vast deep sea, overwhelmed by waves topped by waves. That's all it talks about, the sea, waves upon waves. Now, Muslims are saying this is deep under the water. No, look at the very next part of the verse. Topped by dark clouds. Dark clouds. This is what the next sequence. So this waves upon waves, 
topped by dark clouds. What is above dark clouds? This is waves that are on the comes in on the shore. Exactly, and this it's is in the a face storm of the ocean. That is that is uh, right. When you That's go right. out on a storm by the seashore, dark clouds are formed. Is what it's saying, right? Dark yeah. clouds is what it's saying. Darkness Which you're upon observing. darkness. You're seeing it. There is a storm happening. So the darkness upon darkness is in the clouds. That's the very next part of the verse. Darkness upon darkness. If a man stretch out his hand, Allah has not appointed light. For whom Allah has not appointed light, for him there is no light. It is so dark. Now this is this is what we call hyperbole. There's, it's rare. I mean, there are sometimes when it's so dark because the clouds are so dark. But this has nothing to do with the sea. This is nothing talking about the sea. They they're taking Starting what's with at the, the sea end of the verse and, and going putting upward, it back. Right. Starting with the sea, going upward, not going downward. That's right. It's starting with the sea. It's talking about the waves upon the waves crashing on the store. The clouds are above it. There's going to be a huge tempest. It's so dark upon darkness. It's referring to the where the seas are crashing in and where the clouds are and that you can't even see your hat. It is so dark. Probably the sun was covered because of these dark clouds. So so that's the metaphor here about the there's darkness. There's the metaphor and there's right. the observation. That's right. So this is not a miracle at all. Now, it's not an error either. I would say this is not an error. This is not talking about a wave upon wave under the ocean, nor is it talking about that there's no light. It's just saying it gets dark down there. That's right. observable. You've seen that as a diver and that's Absolutely. nothing more than what you would see at a seashore when there's a great and, and I'm, I'm thankful that you did it this way because here's another way we want people to see. I mean, we, all we did it was we looked at the context, looked at the order. I mean, our Muslim friends always jump on us and say, oh, look at the context of the Quran. What's saying? You're taking this verse, you know, and you're... Okay, so we did it, right? The context, there is a, a logical order. If you look, if there is a storm, let's say, and the storm is happening right by the sh uh, sea uh, shores, you know, you're looking at it, you're going to see large waves, right? You're going to see that the clouds are getting darker. And it's going to start getting darker and darker. The sun will be uh, basically covered. Yes, when the sun is covered, there's no light. And you're going to see the waves rising and rising and rising, waves upon waves. You know, that's what happens. So that's what we're doing. We're using the logic of the Quran. We're not using our own logic. So please, take your time. In fact, I would argue that if you were to go and look, for instance, at what the commentaries are saying, they're not even near suggesting something like our friends are suggesting. With that says, brother... Thank you so much, and uh, we pray that you would find this uh, episode as helpful as the others. And uh, until we meet again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International. And together, we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ.